This is Sister Magazine, 22 years in the making, bringing you some of the best news, views, and sparkling commentary about the African American female experience, sister to sister. Wow, it, it wasn't my husband and I, my girlfriend and I, um, Laura Randolph, um, were talking. First, first of all, I was writing for um, um, Impact Magazine. I was writing a little col a column called Backstage Passes, which dealt with videos. And talking about who directed the video, what happened at the video, how much the videos cost, etc. So then I was asked by another... Uh, two other industry magazines to write for them because they liked the writing, uh, the writing style. When I did, it was rejected by both of them. They didn't want, didn't want it. And I remember going to bed that night saying, I'm just going to put this out myself. And so that was like in March. And I think by September, I, I had talked to my girlfriend. Her name was Laura Randolph, who works for Ebony. My husband, Lorenzo Brown. And uh, came up with, okay, we can write about what happens in the industry. Uh, you, we can write about some health issues. We can write about four or five different columns we had in there. And... So by September of 1988, um, I went to get it printed. I was thinking like, oh, this is going to cost like $600 or something like that. I, I was no longer working. It was $2,000 to print it. And so um, because I'd had a relationship with the music industry, I had been Donnie Simpson's producer for the Video Soul, and I met so many of the junior executives at that time that I went to Sylvia Rome, who was now a major executive, and our cast who are Buddha Records and asked them for ads and um, they said well um, how many people is it going to I said oh about 900 people and uh, they said well how much is it gonna cost I said thirteen hundred dollars each and then, and I was just making up numbers I really was and so it started off that's how I started off and my um, husband uh, was um, regulating all pipelines and nuclear reactors for the Federal Energy Regulatory um, Commission and and so he would he would come home and edit whatever I had written and it was just me and him and then we had a team of people that were supposed to lay out the the, the newsletter. It was just a newsletter black and white with one red or one color was red. Well that team disappeared and um, my husband went and got a computer, bought it and read how to how to lay out the magazine, and that was it. That's how it started. Uh, it's not only black entertainment magazines that fail. All of, There's a 98% failure rate of all magazines. It's usually, um, first of all, you have to have the advertising base, and then you have to create the demand for it. And, and content is very important. A lot of magazines, they put a lot into, you know, photo shoots that may cost $20,000. They bring on a huge staff. Um, they um, the staff doesn't have multiple roles that they uh, that they have to perform in and with my husband and I we've always kept the company very very small very very manageable and we've always done two three four things each one of us so and then we brought our family in also first of all I'm in an industry where everything is new and young so there are young people or little rappers that's who I'm talking to that's who we're interviewing that's who I was putting on the um, I was putting on the um, on the network when I worked at BET but um, but I wrote it in a way that uh, elder people could understand it I'm, I'm an elder so I write from how I perceive things and also I'd like to teach so when I'm talking to these younger people who have big voices and big and a lot of reach to our young people I'm trying to talk to them so that they learn things that they they maybe never heard uh, before. So I share who I am with the younger people, which attracts older people. And older people can come in and read what's going on with, with uh, the young rappers, with the young R&B singers, because they see it from my perspective. I'm not saying, yo, 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 so what's up? I'm not doing all that. So that I'm speaking the King's English. I'm thinking, you know, I have common sense, and I'm asking them questions, why did you do this? So it attracts that older crowd, and so I get letters from 60-year-old grandmothers. I, I even have one um, 
uh, one lady who's 93, up to 93 years old. I go from 6th grade to 93 years old, where they can all feel very comfortable inside the magazine. The kids like it because I'm talking to kids, I'm dealing with their stars that they like, and the adults like it because then they can go inside and visit with us. And it's a family magazine. When it comes into the house, even though it's aimed at women, uh, the, the children can get it first and they can read. There's no cursing words, no curse words. It's very respectful. But it's very insightful and it's kind of sassy also. So it's entertaining. I was on television with Joan Rivers. I, I mean, I was writing all these stories. And um, Joan Rivers had this TV show at um, her, the Joan Rivers show. Then she went into Gossip, Gossip, Gossip. And then Geraldo wanted to have me on his show. And I, um, I broke the story by Miller Vanilli. And that they were really not real. This is was the big breakthrough for for me because then I was put I was splashed all over um, you know entertainment tonight and CNN and um, many of the and the Joan Rivers also because she was the one who actually brought the guy who was singing the actual singer over from Germany once I made her aware like look I got a phone call from Germany from Jermaine Stewart who said Jamie put your tape recorder on this is the real Millie Vanilli wake up it was five o'clock in the Sunday afternoon put the uh, the tape recorder on and the guy starts saying I'm in love with you man you're on my mind and so I wrote about the story I called in to Aris the record said asked them is this true is this true that the, the uh, Millie Vanilli group did not actually do the singing they said no it's not true you can write your story all you want uh, but it's not true well, about four months later, it turns out that, hey, it was true. And um, my girlfriend called me up and said, Jamie, do you realize that um, the producers admitting that they, there were some soldiers who actually uh, were singing the Millie Vanilli songs? And so I called up my friend, Jermaine Stewart. I said, give me the guys that... That uh, the guy that was singing, and so when I told Joan Rivers about it, she flew him over. This was on Friday. She flew him over on Sunday. She brought me up on Sunday night. She had us sequestered at the Plaza Hotel, and we couldn't talk to anybody till after three o'clock that afternoon, uh, Monday afternoon, because that was after her show had run after she had interviewed me and the guy and his manager on her show. And then it was, I went up there on a, on a Friday, no, on, on Sunday. I didn't get home until Thursday. There was so much press I had to do while we were up there with him. Um, in terms of where we're going with Sister, the Sister Magazine, we want to get more more readers, of course. We want to expand much, much more. I Also, we're... Um, we're on the web and that we're going to spend money and, 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 and participate a lot more on the web because we it's hard very hard to be instantaneous when you have bloggers who are putting stuff up immediately now but what the difference is is that your legacy if you're an artist or a, a celebrity or a sports person and people are somewhere off in a corner writing about you who don't know you and making things up about you. It's very important to have a responsible place, a, tr a trusted place that you can go to to put your truth down and have your legacy the way you want it to be without someone else who's random somewhere writing about you and, and writing all these untruths. So that Sister to Sister is becoming even more important now as a magazine uh, for, the, for that reason and the second reason is is when you're on the website you're getting only the appetizer but with sister to sister you get the meat and potatoes